Chapter 7 The Bully Trolls One sunny morning, a royal messenger arrived in Everbright bearing a letter, sealed with the emblem of the neighboring troll kingdom. King Everbright, always eager to foster good relations with neighboring lands, eagerly opened the letter. It was an invitation from the Troll King to send a diplomat from Everbright to discuss a friendship agreement between the two kingdoms. King Everbright thought it was a splendid idea and chose Prince Leo to represent their kingdom. Prince Leo, known for his wisdom and unique perspective, agreed to meet with the Troll King's son, Prince Grumblewort, to discuss the terms of the agreement. As Prince Leo, Princess Amelia and Drizzle greeted Prince Grumblewort at the Royal Gardens. They hoped to make a new friend and strengthen the bonds between their kingdoms. However, as soon as Prince Grumblewort saw Prince Leo, he burst into laughter, making unkind remarks about his unique way of seeing the world. Prince Leo, though hurt by the hurtful comments, decided to stay composed and kind. He explained to Prince Grumblewort about his condition. Asperger's, and how it made him see things differently. But Prince Grumblewort, instead of understanding, continued to tease and make fun of Prince Leo. Princess Amelia and Drizzle were deeply concerned for their friend. They knew that bullying was not acceptable, and they had to find a way to change Prince Grumblewort's perspective. They decided to show him the beauty of their kingdom and how unique qualities were celebrated. They took Prince Grumblewort on a tour of Everbright, showing him the vibrant colors, magical creatures, and the kindness that filled their land. Along the way, Prince Leo shared his remarkable observations about the world, explaining how his condition allowed him to see beauty and wonder in things others might not notice. Slowly but surely, Prince Grumblewort began to see the world through Prince Leo's eyes. He realized that his unique perspective was a gift, not something to be ridiculed. Prince Grumblewort apologized for his earlier behavior and expressed his desire to forge a true friendship. As the days passed, Prince Leo, Princess Amelia, and Drizzle showed Prince Grumblewort the kindness and acceptance that Everbright was known for. They taught him about the importance of treating others with respect and understanding, regardless of their differences. By the time Prince Grumblewort returned to the Troll Kingdom, he had changed for the better. He shared the lessons he had learned in Everbright with his father, the Troll King, who was deeply moved by his son's transformation. The Troll King and King Everbright decided to sign the friendship agreement, sealing a bond of unity and understanding between their kingdoms. Prince Grumblewort returned to Everbright as an ambassador for peace and friendship, and together, the two kingdoms celebrated their newfound alliance. The trolls, once known as bullies, had become allies and friends of Everbright. Prince Leo, Princess Amelia, and Drizzle had not only changed Prince Grumblewort's perspective, but had also shown the world that kindness and acceptance could transform even the hardest of hearts. To be continued. Thanks a bunch for sharing this adventure with us. We had a blast and we hope you did too. Remember to give that like button a friendly tap and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on more fantastic tales and giggles. Can't wait to see you again soon for another round of storytime fun.